several sources form Ukrainian intelligence community are reporting that Admiral Igor Osipov, the commander of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, has been arrested in what would be the latest in a string of detentions linked to the bungled invasion. Osipov is allegedly arrested by Russian FSB after the cruiser Moscow sunk while it was being towed to a harbor after the ship was hit by Ukrainian missiles. He is the latest victim of Putin's fury after the disastrous military campaign in Ukraine, which is crowned with the loss of Russian Navy flagship, the cruiser Moskva, which was armed with caliber cruise missiles and the S-300 air defense system. Twenty Russian generals have been arrested over the military's failings along with 150 FSB officers for providing false information about Ukraine's defenses. A moving morning ceremony was held for the Moskva and its sailors in Sevastopol, its home port, as relatives of the crew defied the Russian orders. It was unofficial, but there was no mention of the number who had died, yet it seemed clear from this somber ceremony presided over by a priest that there had been a significant loss of life. A wreath was placed by a Black Fleet statue which read, to the ship and the sailors. It comes amid soaring fears that nukes might be on the seabed after Ukraine's hit on the vessel. Anti-ship P-1000 Vulcan missiles, which are able to carry a nuclear warhead, were on board the Moskva cruiser. Earlier today Kiev sources claimed the ship's captain first-ranked Captain Anton Kuprin, 44, went down with the ship after it was hammered by Neptune anti-ship missiles. He died during an explosion and fire on board the former flagship of the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation, said Anton Jeryshenko. A satellite photo of Vladimir Putin's warship appears to show it burning after it was hit by a Ukrainian missile strike. The Russian vessel Moskva reportedly sank with its entire crew of 510 sailors on board, following a fire and an explosion, Ukraine has claimed. A satellite image appears to pinpoint the exact location of the ship after it was targeted. A total of 510 sailors were reportedly on the vessel that was blown up on Thursday whose fate remains a mystery. Anton Jeryshchenko, an advisor to the Kiev Interior Ministry, claimed that the explosion was so strong that the flagship of the Black Sea Fleet sank in a matter of minutes. He claimed to have heard this from sources in Sevastopol, the headquarters of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. Apparently, as a result of the fire, the warheads of the large P-1000 cruise missile, Vulcan, detonated. And there were 16 of them on board the cruiser. As a result all the crew of the cruiser Moskva died. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.